Hi everybody, I'm Paolo from www.c4d.cz and I would like to show you in this tutorial another new rig I prepared for Cinema 4 dr 17 This rig is a part of the Cinema 4 dr 17 Studio Content Browser asset and it's not so complex as the cabinet rig of the Visualize but it should be also very useful. Okay, let's start. Go to the Content Browser, choose the presets, continue to the Studio, 3D objects and finally uh, architecture elements. Yes, it's a part of this asset again. And the new work is called blinds. We actually have very hot days here in Czech Republic, so it's a very useful object to me. Okay, so load the object onto our scene and use the enchanced uh, OpenGL transparency option. And let's go closer. It's a shading system, we can say, or a vertical blind system. Uh, the rig isn't so complicated, but it uh, still generates very nice and very complex looking objects. And it generates all details you can imagine and probably expecting. So let's study it deeply. The main dimension of the object is the first, of course. We can adjust uh, its length, okay, its height, and also blind width. Uh, this particular value is very important because it controls a blinds count as well. So, the blinds count is generated accordingly to the object length. It can be a window width, for instance, and blinds width value. In case the width will be heightened, it will automatically reduce a current blinds count down. Otherwise, it will be raised up. Uh, let uh, me explain it further. It means in case blinds will be wider, we don't actually need so many blinds to close a window. Try it. Play with the width value. It's higher now and the count is automatically reduced. It was perfectly, as you can see. Let's use the original value, for instance. And I would like to have more blinds, for instance, because in case the object will be closed, the window will be covered from some particular views perfectly. Let's try it. So use the open close slider and close it. And adjust the rotation value here. It will close a window totally. But I have to fix these small gaps that are between the blinds. Uh, because I can see through the blinds from this point of view. So, it definitely needs some additional blinds here. This is the reason why the additional blinds value exists. Increase it. It can solve all the problems here. And we got a perfectly working result now. So, uh, this is the additional value and rotation value. And we have played with the open close slider as well. That's it. But let's check the rig's details. It's very well modeled, uh, as you can see. It has many details here. And check the bottom part as well. It generates all these small connections, uh, connection chains with these spheres. Test it. Just close the object a bit. Okay, and check it here. Yes, and it works perfectly and it generates a very cool looking detail, I think. Here the last option we haven't touched is the sphere trigger. So we can turn off the spheres by this option. That's all. I think it's a pretty nice and should be a helpful object for architects, designers, all people those need to build an interior stuff and so on. I think it can do it more realistic and alive. Anyway, the rig uh, shows a weak feature of Cinema 4D as well. Cinema 4D Express feature doesn't sub actually support multi threading and it uh, uses another feature that's also very slow. Uh, the feature is the tracer object of the MoGraph module. This is the reason the vertical blinds rig has an option to freeze the current state. It temporarily turns off the Espresso and can speed up your editor. So, in case your editor speed will be slow, turn off the Espresso by the option here. And don't forget to the trigger. It can help you many times. Okay, that's really all about the vertical blind rig of the Cinema 4D R17 Content Browser asset. Another useful rig of the release. So, enjoy the tool, have a fun and see you at www.c4d.cz. Bye!